So we're gonna open CapCut, we're gonna start a new project, and then you're gonna add the video for your background. Then you're gonna delete the black video at the end. Then I added a pink background cover and I turned the opacity or oticity, whatever it's called, down to like 30 something. You can do it to however you wanna do it. But I did this like 30, 20 something, something like that. And then I added two pictures of her. I cut them out using PixArt. So I just placed them where I wanted them to go. So I placed them in the center. I layered them on top of each other. So one was in the back and one was on top. As you can see. Then I'm adding the second picture that I cut out. Just moving them and placing them how I want to place them and where I want to place them. You can do this until you get it to how you like it. You don't necessarily have to follow every step that I'm doing. Then I went to effects and I think I used the butterfly, like it's called like, it starts with the M. So as you can see, then I added sparkles. They're my favorites, but if you go to bling, you can find all the sparkles and stuff like that. Then I went back to overlayer and I added her name. And I just stretched it out over the two pictures of her and placed them straight in the middle or placed them to my liking. Y'all, this is my first uh, voiceover. So, and then I saved that. And then it's this app. You know what I forgot to add animations so I went back and I added animations to everything I wanted to move as you can see I use like zoom one zoom two and all of that I use the shake the horror the I use a lot of different animations. So, once I got it to my liking, I saved it and then I opened this app called Vita. I think that's how you say it, if I'm not mistaken. You know what? I lied. I wanted to add more animations. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm sorry. I wanted to add more another thing of butterflies on top because it only lets you do a certain amount at a time so once I did that I finally saved it and then I went to this app called Vita as you can see then I added the project that I just saved from CapCut and I went to style and I chose the record because I love how it looked but you can choose anyone you can delete the music if you want to then I saved it. Saving. Then I went back to CapCut, started a new project, added the same background video, added the same picture layover, turned the opacity down to like 30 something. And then once I did that, I added a, a picture. I, all these pictures I got off of Instagram and I all cut them out on CapCut. Then I added another picture, picture of her. Then I added, I took screenshots of her Instagram post. 
to go on the side of the picture as you can see you can see that I'm doing what I'm doing right now and I just layered them on top of each other at different angles so you can be able to see all three pictures that I added Then I'm adding the final picture that I took off her Instagram. And I'm placing them and moving them to my liking. So I think I moved them around a little bit and then made them a little bit bigger. So you can be able to see them instead of them being so small like how they were. Then I think I added her name. Yeah, I added her name next. Placed it like right over her body. Stretched it out so it can be throughout the whole video. I couldn't add any more. So that's when I went to add the effects for the background. <coughs> Excuse me. You can use any effects that you want to. You don't necessarily have to use what I'm using. And then after I added my effects, I went back and I added my animations to everything I wanted to move. Like I did in the first part. And you see me like turning the what's it called what's it called the dalmatian so i'm just basically moving it so it can move slower instead of moving so fast As y'all can see, I didn't really like the animations for the uh, picture, so I kept changing them. And now I'm finally adding animations to her name. Saved it. And then I went back to the app that I was on before. I lied. I added it because I wanted to add more anime. I mean, uh, I was supposed to add the Instagram, but I couldn't. And I also deleted the black background. And then I add animations to that. And once I did that, I finally went and added the effects that I wanted. This is me just browsing to pick which one I like. I didn't like that, so I deleted it. I went back to my favorites, and I added the one that I was looking for. Saved it. Then I finally went back to the app that I was on before, added the same project, and then I added, you go back to style, and you can pick whichever one that you wanna pick at the bottom. Um, I was looking for the one I did when I first made it before I started screen recording to do a tutorial for you guys. So as you can see, me just going through. Then I finally found it. I deleted the sound and the words that were on it. And then I just saved it. Once you do that, you go back to CapCut. Then you start a new project, add your background. It doesn't necessarily have to be a video, but 
delete the black video at the end then add your um overlayer turn the old pissity down to your liking go to overlayer and then i added two pictures of her i sized them and stuff to my liking i was looking for the picture i tilted both pictures to turn in the opposite direction of each other i got this frame from pixar all i did was type in picture frames and then you click stickers and they have a lot a list of picture frames that you can choose from this is me adding the second picture that I wanted and me adding the frame once again sizing it right here I'm gonna be sizing it and moving it around to my liking because I didn't like how it look how it is now This might be a little tedious for some people, but you just gotta be patient because sometimes, you know, you be trying to make sure it's perfect, like me, as you can see. And then I am adding a picture of her I also cut it out using CapCut. I mean, not CapCut, I'm sorry, Pixar. I placed it in the middle. Then I added animations to that. I couldn't add anything else, so I saved it. Then I added that same project that I just saved back deleted the black video at the end then I added her name I placed it like at the bottom to like cover like the bottom of the flaps for the, from the picture frame then I added uh, two cutouts of her to go on each side of her name. And then you're gonna go see me click layer and I'm gonna put it under her name so it won't be on top of her name. And then I'm adding the second picture. And you're gonna see me do the same thing, go to layer and then change it so it can be the picture can be under her name not over i forgot to add the twitter sign so make sure you add the twitter sign i was kind of moving a little too fast and forgot about it but you know mistakes are made so then i went and added my effects i think i did the sparkles and the butterfly if i'm not mistaken or no, just the sparkles i can't remember And then I added animations to everything. Then I saved it. Then I went back into the app, added the project that I was using that I just saved, go back to style and add the background or the effects that you want. Then I deleted the music and the words because I didn't want it on there. And then I saved that, <coughs> excuse me. Then I went back to CapCut
Then I added my background again and then the overlayer and then turn the opacity down on it. Then I added the effects that I wanted. Y'all can see I have a thing for butterflies. I actually like how the butterflies went with this theme that I was going for. Then I added a picture of her. And as you can see, um, I got all these words, well, the text from Fontos because I like their fonts better than I do on this app. So then I added beauty, lifestyle, and business, you know, as the thing she'll be doing on her channel. So after I'm done doing this, adding the last um, word, I'm going to size them down so they can fit and be able to see the see each word y'all and bear with me i'm gonna get better with these oh and then i added a little line to go in between the words so you can, you know, give it a little pizzazz. I almost forgot to add animations to so what I wanted to add animations to, so I went back. But bear with me, I'm going to get better with this voiceover thing. This is my first time, you know. I don't think I've edited it. I think I'm just give it to y'all. Raw and uncut because I make mistakes. So, that being said, I'm going to finish adding animations to everything and then once I did that you're going to save it I went back and changed two of them to be the same because I thought it looked better more like that. Then I saved it. Then I'm adding the same project I just saved. Deleting the video at the end and adding the second line to go in between lifestyle and business. As y'all can see, I'm trying to make it a little bit smaller so it's not touching both of the words. And then I went to stickers, then I went to the power button and added subscribe. I went back to stickers to fix it to my liking. And then once I did that, I saved it and I went back to the Vita app. I think that's what it's called. Added the video, went to style, and scrolled all the way to the end almost. And found whichever one I wanted to go over the video. Then I deleted the music and then I played it out and saved it. Once that's done saving, you're going to go back to CapCut. Then you're going to add all four pieces, all four videos.
and once you add all four videos you're going to click the little lines and you're going to add the transitions effects that you want to use for each one there's a lot of different options but these are the ones that I like to use then I deleted the video and then I played it out I hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure you like comment subscribe and hit that bell down below and don't forget I'm going to be doing a giveaway and it should end, I would say, next month sometime. I haven't given an end date for it yet. But see you later.